Welcome to Image Manipulation Applications for Classroom Print Materials by the Mary F. English Program. In this series, we will go over three different programs, Big Huge Labs, Phrase It, and Musee. This video is about the website Big Huge Labs. Just to give you a quick roadmap of this training, I will first discuss what each program is and then how to integrate it into the classroom. I will then show examples and then walk you through a tutorial. First, this tool can be accessed at BigHugeLabs.com. Big Huge Labs definitely lives up to its tagline, helping you do cool stuff with your digital photos. It includes over 30 different photo editing tools that can be printed and or posted on the web. You can turn photos into magazine covers, turn photos into puzzles, make calendars, make pop art, and so much more. Most of these effects take two to three steps. Upload your photo, select among a few options, and create. Creating and saving these digital images is free, but printing is the only cost, but not required. Creation and virtual sharing are both free. Use Big Huge Labs to engage your students and provide visuals for their projects. Big Huge Labs gives students an opportunity to be creative and demonstrate their understanding of the material. Big Huge Labs even has an educator account. Teachers can sign up for free. Educator accounts get the following benefits. They can pre-register students so they can sign in without requiring an email address. Teachers can also view and download content created by students. Also, when teachers create a login, the site is advertising free and they do not try to sell anything to your students. They are also ready to print ID cards for students. To enroll, create a free account or log in. Register with your school's email address isn't required, but it does speed up the approval process. Return to the account profile to scan and upload proof of current educator status. This can be a scan of your official school ID or similar document. Here are a few ideas on using Big Huge Labs in the classroom. Use the badges to create name tags for field trips. Also, you can create an avatar to use for an online presence. You can create national park or other trading cards, or create movie posters to share about a book or a specific time in history. The steps to create something on Big Huge Labs is very simple. This is an example of how to make a calendar on Big Huge Labs. You simply choose a photo, you crop it, you choose your size and your month, and then you simply create. The directions really are that simple. Here are a couple of examples of my creations from Big Huge Labs. Here on the left is a motivational poster. It was really simple to make. I simply just found a picture off Google Images and imported it. I found an inspirational quote and just simply added it. You can customize it by choosing your border and your background. Here on the left is a map of visited states. This option allows the student to highlight states in a specific color to show visited or unvisited states. It would be a great tool for students to learn national geography. Next, I'm going to teach you how to create a movie poster, how to save, and then how to share. Okay, and this is BigHugeLabs.com, and this is what the home page looks like. If you see here, these are all of the different options that your students can do with their photos. Um, a few that I mentioned previously, such as making the badge, a calendar, and then there's also a map maker. Um, there are a number of different options here. Um, we'll just scroll through and show you some of them. We have the magazine cover, we have a motivational poster like the one that I showed you, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do a movie poster today. It's very easy to use. Um, for your photo for your movie poster, you can either upload it, you can get the image from Flickr, or you can also import from Facebook. But today we're just going to upload. I'm just going to click browse, and then I'm going to locate my file. And I'm going to do a movie poster on Lewis and Clark. So I've uploaded my picture here. It's in this browse box. And then you can also crop the image, but I'm just going to keep it center. I'm going to keep the text the same. The font, we're going to make vintage. And let's make the movie title The Adventures of Lewis and Clark. And then we'll add a tagline. Let's say the pioneers of manifest destiny some other cool things you can also add an additional tagline here you can add acting credits um, production credits you can also add a rating we'll just go ahead and make it PG and then you can add a release date 
which we'll go ahead and just put summer um, 2015 and then you can also change the color of that as well. We'll just make it white and see what it looks like. So we're just going to click create. It gives you a preview of what your image looks like and then you can also go back and edit it. It didn't look like it was a good idea to use white down here because of the image. So we're just going to go ahead and go back to edit. And then we'll just go ahead and change this to black to keep it simple. And then recreate. And this is our image. We have the title of the movie and then we also have our tagline, the picture and then we have the rating and the release date. So now there are a few different options. We can add it to our cart and we can actually have it print and ship to us for our cost. We can edit it, which we just did. We can download, share, and then we can also create in high resolution. High resolution creations are $25 a year. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and show you the share options, Flickr, Facebook, or email. But probably the easiest option for your students would be just to simply download it. So if we click download, the computer just asks if we want to download it. And we just click save. And we can open it. And there it is. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and would like to learn more about other photo editing tools, check out other videos in this series, such as Phrase It and Musi. Thanks for watching.